to cooking queen. She's not toasty for you, Bob. You haven't seen us here for a while. We're in the Peak District, in the Edale Valley. And on the way here, we lost one of our wind deflectors at speed. Which, and it nearly hit a Porsche. Yeah, it, well, it, it went, it flew off at 70 mile an hour. <laughs> went straight underneath the Porsche, mm-hmm. luckily. So uh, we're going to have to buy some new ones. Where are we? Edale. Edale in the Peak District we're at. And what's the campsite called? Newfold Farm. Newfold Farm. We um, we decided to try and come to the Peak District because I think I've said this about all places we go to but we feel like we've neglected the Peak District and we don't come here as often as we should especially considering this is the closest national park to where we live. This campsite is right next to the beginning, the official beginning of the Pennine Way. So we've just been to Rekia route for tomorrow. I think we're going to go up. Why can't I remember the name of anything? Kinder Scout. <laughs> I think we're going to go up Kinder Scout tomorrow. So the route looks really good. Well, the beginning does anyway. <laughs> On this site, they've got a bistro and a cafe served with some quality stuff on the menu i'll get to to tell you in a bit and there's a pub next door to the site as well and a shop a shop it's got a shop a general shop what did you get from the shop potatoes (laughs) and hobnobs chocolate hobnobs and chocolate digestives and now i'm gonna dunk a hobnob in my tea wrong and nope right and Oh, I see all of them. Why? Because it's ripped onto the. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Hobnobs are the right biscuit to dip in your tea because they don't slop into your tea, the, the hardcore. Well, you could just not dunk. Who was it that did that joke about the hobnobs and when they dunk them? It's like, oh, do me again, Mr. Peter K. So, just looking at the menu for the pub down the road. And one of the options, well, one of the sections is called pick and mix sausage. And you can pick a sausage, pick a mash, pick a sauce. (laughs) And they've got a stag sausage, which is a venison and herb sausage, a pride of the Peak District sausage, pork, garlic and herb, Welsh dragon, pork, leek and a hint of chilli, a veggie sausage, rosemary and red onion. And then you can have cheddar mash, whole grain mash, whole grain mustard mash or garlic mash. And then you've got roast roast tomato and basil sauce, creamy mushroom and garlic sauce, or rich onion gravy. And you can add a large Yorkshire pudding for £1.75. <laughs> and I don't mind telling you, the bistro on site, the menu is equally as impressive. It's just this place. We're going to be back here next week. Maybe not next week because the kids are off. <laughs> Is the morning after and guess who we bumped into in the pub last night we bumped into 
a nice group of people who all worked at Snow Peak in their store in London. So Alan creamed his pants. One of the girls was wearing a Snow Peak jacket and I was like, Sarah, is that, that girl's wearing a Snow Peak jacket? And shortly after, we, they told us that they worked in a camping shop in London. Sarah said, what's the camping shop called? And he went, Snow Peak. <laughs> it's like, brought our Snow Peak fire pit this week. Last night in the pub, the food was just delicious. The beer was good as well, wasn't it? Yeah. What was it called? D Dortmunder. Oh, yeah, oh, it's really nice. Dead easy to drink. Um, so yeah, I had... You could do pick a sausage, I think I told you that, from the menu. Um, so I had venison sausage, cheesy mashed potato, gravy and a Yorkshire pudding. And it was the nicest thing ever. And I could eat it again now and every day for the rest of my whole entire life. It was amazing. What did you have, La? I had steak and stilton pie with chips. And it was so nice. Every, there was so much, that, so much on the menu that I wanted to get. It was a, it was a tough choice, but I went for the steak and Stilton pie because it was on the specials board. And I thought if I come back tomorrow night, it might not be on here. So I, I didn't regret it one single bit. We might have mentioned yesterday that we're planning on going up. That hill, can't remember the name of it. Oh, why can't I remember the, the wind? The wind yesterday was bad. The wind today is it's pretty uh, brisk. Plus we overdid it in the pub a bit last night, so I think we're just gonna go for a mild hill walk today. No, Jack is my new best friend. Cause I just made sausage butties. And our new mates at Snow Peak have just come and give us the rest of their firewood because they're going home. That could be. Is this? Come. Hello, JP. <laughs> Said I didn't sleep too well last night. So we decided to have a little midday nana nap. And Jack spent the whole hour staring out the window, watching squirrels, birds, people and listening to the wind. We actually booked a couple of days off work. Funny story. We were meant to go to Scotland. <laughs> and I'm sure you've heard this from us before. But we were meant to go to Scotland and the weather just stopped us. <laughs> the weather the forecast was really bad. Like, lots and lots of rain, but really, really heavy, uh, strong winds. No strong winds are obviously prevalent here as well because it's it's blowing a gale here. But today, we were meant to be climbing up Ben Nevis. But then obviously, we downgraded that to come down to the Peak District and go up Kinder Scout instead. But we've then downgraded Kinder Scout to an afternoon nap and sitting in the van, looking through the window at the sunshine, listening to the wind. Sometimes you've just got to sit back and listen to your body. Sometimes we listen to our body a bit too much because <laughs> <laughs> it's always tired. <laughs> <laughs> We just decided to get our ass out of bed and get outside. There's no rain, there was even blue skies. We thought, come on, sort yourself out. 
So we didn't go up the Pennine Way up towards Kinder Scouts, we went up a different route and it was a route that we tried to do years ago we ended up turning back for, I think it was bad weather conditions we knew we weren't going to get to the top because we didn't to leave ourselves enough time but the route was stunning you've got waterfalls and little bridges over streams and really nice rock formations and all kinds it was, a, it was an absolute belter of a route we got to a point where there's a bit of a scramble and you, you're walking a, a really real rocky path alongside the, the, the river and what have you we're already planning to come back here in a month or two's time and do a full circular so we'll go up that same route up to Kinder Scout to the downfall and then down the Pennine Way back here down Jacob's Ladder But I don't mind telling you last night was one of the worst nights sleep we have we both had in a long time. We had strong winds, hailstone and sleet, a very unrested dog. Oh, this camera lens is frog fogging up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're having a coffee. Comfies. It's the only bad thing about this cup. It's a bit wakes the campsite up. This is the best thing I've ever bought. Pound off TikTok shop. I used to spend hours trying to get the doggers out the carpet with a hoover. Then I bought this off TikTok shop. It's like the best thing ever. How much is it? About a pound and you get two. <laughs> We've seen so many people going off brave in this weather. I don't know what type of people you are, but on your last day, are you one of them people that just wants to get home? Pack up, get home. Or are you going for another adventure before your holiday ends? <coughs> We. We're the type of people who just want to go home on the last day. Go home, have a wash and chill for the day <laughs> with a nice bacon boy. Yeah, we did actually have plans to go elsewhere today on our way home. There was a couple of beauty spots that I found, but the Snake Pass is closed. for. It's been closed for two days for um, repairing okay. potholes, so it's probably going to be a logistical nightmare. So that's a good excuse to go home in this bad weather and chill out. Yay! So yeah, we're off now, so... So long? Yeah. Farewell. Oh yeah, farewell. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.